All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakutash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and salutation and much love to Akim out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. All right, this is the brother Ash from the Great Millstone Tampa Church. And I just want to do a quick video. Lord's willing is exhorting unto the Akim out there pushing out, you know, this word, uh, hoping for salvation, okay? And as you see, on the, I'm going to have it in the, in the, in the, in the video loop uh, playing in the background and um last night i seen the chariot of the lord okay which the people called uh all right the people of this world called ufos okay and um pretty much i went outside and uh take take the dogs out for you know take them outside and uh i seen i seen a light in the sky it was it was pretty you know it was a bright as you see it and um at first i thought it was a star you know so i'm just staring at it for a couple of minutes and then after like three minutes, it starts flashing. It gets brighter and then it goes dim, brighter and it goes dim. And after a couple minutes of it doing that, I, I whip out the phone, start recording. Okay, and this is what you see right here. Okay, and then, so it, 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 when I started recording though, it stopped flashing like it was. But then, and you, you, you see in the video, it, 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 it gets brighter and it dims down and it was stationary. All right, it wasn't no airplane. It wasn't, it, it wasn't, um, you know, a hot air balloon or whatever people like to say, okay? It was a chariot of the Lord, okay? And then I went, uh, I recorded for a couple minutes, for, actually four minutes and 44 seconds, but then, all right, I, I take the dogs inside and it was still up there. So I go to the gas station real quick. And then as I'm coming back, it's still up there and it's super bright while I'm in the car, okay? And then, um, once I park, pull the car into the garage, get out, go look, I get out the garage and uh, go to look at it again and it's gone. And that's, that, that's I'll play that, that second video after uh, I'm done speaking. All right, so you'll see it, it's completely gone, okay? And then I look up again and there it is again, it's back, all right? And it's lower this time. The, the, the chariot went down a little bit, which you'll see in the, in the last video that I'll put, put up. All right, so this is just confirmation uh, of, of the chariots of the Lord, you know, which I've seen them a couple, this is probably like the fifth or sixth time, but you know, this, hey, the Lord is showing us more and more signs that he's not at hand. Okay, so let me just bring out these precepts. This is Luke chapter 21, verse 28. All right, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh, all right? So our redemption is gonna come from where? from above man which was going to be in them clouds all right the chariots of the lord they're going to like the scriptures say we're going to meet the lord in the air all right let's get that second thessalonians uh uh sorry sorry first thessalonians chapter 4 uh verse 16 all right it says for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the most high and the dead in hamashiach shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. So that's why the Lord said to look up for your night because what? Our, our Lord is coming from, from the skies, man, the clouds. And we're going to meet the Lord in the air. All right. Just like he left is the same way he's going to return. This is Acts chapter 1, verse 9. It says, and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight all right so the lord was taken up in what they call a tractor beam all right he, he was he was received up into the to, into a ufo all right the, 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 the scriptures talk about clouds all right and and, and and lights all right these are the, the chariots of the lord all right the instruments of our salvation acts 1 and 10 it says and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up See, so they were looking up. That's why, remember, you how I said, look, look up for your salvation draweth nigh when these things begin to happen, all right? And these things that the Lord spoke about have begun to happen. So now is the time for us to be looking up because our redemption, our redemption is nigh. It says, it, Acts 1 and 10, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in, in white apparel, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yehoshai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So the Lord will return in those same uh, uh, clouds, so to say, 
that he left him, which is the, the chariots of the Lord, all right? Let's, and let's prove that in Revelation 1 and uh, 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall will because of him, even so am I. All right, so just, hey, the angel said it. The two men that were standing amongst the, the disciples, they said that the Lord was going to come back in the same way he left. He left in a cloud, he's coming back in a cloud. All right, and you can say, well, that's not a cloud in the video. No, but guess what? The, the, the Lord is, is, well, let's just prove it. This Exodus chapter 13, verse 21, it says, And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people. So during the day, it's, they, they would liken it unto a cloud. And during, at night, as you see in the video, it was a pillar of fire to give the light. So this is what you see. And this is what's going to be the instrument of our salvations, okay? And Kahala Yahweh Bashim Shai for allowing me to see that. All right? A faith booster. It says Psalms 104 and verse 3. We'll end it with this. Psalms 104 and 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. So the chariots are, 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 it says, who maketh the clouds his chariots. So the clouds, when it refers to those clouds, it's talking about the chariots of the Lord. All right. Lord's will, this was edifying and exhorting. Let's go, brothers. We're almost out of here. Call out your back shot. outside to see if it was there. And it's gone. Yep. Confirmation. Call out your shot. Beautiful. It was out there for a minute, too. I just came back from the gas station. And it was up there the whole time. I just parked the car, came out, and it was gone. Now it's back, but it's lower. Man. See it?